in diverse role play, we have a big emphasis on making scenes good. We often want civilians to make extremely good scenes where we as law enforcement are tasked with using our brains, are tasked with using our training, are tasked with using our ability to investigate certain scenes and make it give people a full role play experience of what it is supposed to be. Now, this scene is a perfect example of what role play is supposed to be and how things can be like in person, you know, trying to emulate realistic things into a game. Not everything needs to be a shootout. I know that is completely fun and enjoyable, but things like this can turn into a movie. Things, scenes like this that we are about to see here makes RP so much more fun for me and makes it a, a, something that I would love to see and enjoy. I know it's not going to be everybody's style, but I want to say that this was one of the absolute best RP scenarios I've ever been a part of. And I want to give a huge shout out to Landon G and my community and DVRP and Diverse Roleplay for crafting this scene with exquisite taste. He took so much time to conceptualize this concept, preparation, and I think everything played off when we when we followed these breadcrumbs of, of evidence, investigations, OOCs, and everything for this scene to go completely through. Now, I'm going to leave this entire recording footage. I'm going to leave this uncut, unedited, so you guys can see the full hour of investigation that we did. Everything from um, we breaching the house to we, to we seeing the entire story. You guys, this story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And that is what I wanted to want our piece to be like more. The, the, the stuff that you see me on stream, that is for entertainment. That is bordering on the line of realistic and and being entertainment for the video game but this rp right here this is the kind of storylines i want told this is the kind of rp that i want to be happening in the community so if you guys like this style hit that like button subscribe turn on notifications so you know whenever i post i think that this was an amazing rp scene shout out to you landon and uh yeah i hope more people start doing stuff like this and i hope that more Law enforcement start doing the steps that me and Garrett did in this um in this scene. I will say this though. Viewer discretion is advised because very many sensitive real life topics were tackled in this video. And those of you might those of you who have um any kind of of experience or any kind of thoughts with self-deletion and and being unable to see your family for long periods of time, maybe you are a soldier, etc. This is gonna hit you pretty hard. So if you guys wanna wanna um I'm just warning you guys now, viewer discretion as advice is advice. There's gonna be some sensitive topics being displayed in this video. How this is part of the VRP rules where they can visit these kinds of areas. However, it's not to go into too much detail. And I think that this perfectly encapsulate encapsulate the rules and regulations of the VRP. But I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Have a great week. And um, yeah, let's watch the video all the way through. Shall I call? I'll be in route latest 911 call. Want to know some traffic? I'm basically here. I don't know if they're going to be in route. Three. This is gonna be a mad fast response because I'm I was pretty much near there. I'm gonna go around the front and then do a loop around the outer perimeter. I said they were walking towards three six seven. I'm at three six seven now. Okay. Man, why is Sam calling me? Leave me alone. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's up that dirt road. Shoot, I'm in a charger. <laughs> Oh, 
was. Oh yeah, sure, local. Let's just stop in the middle of the road. I don't see anybody up here. Are you up by that house at three six seven? Yeah, I'm above right there. Okay. The other house is up here. I'm gonna go down this way. Keep it in south. Charger can't take too much more of this. Yeah, same here. Keep it slow. We'll go and play here and stuff. I look around this property and see. Check further up over at uh, 368. We can get a chance if you see anything. Okay. I went south towards uh, 542 at the freeway. Okay. I just came from 368. I didn't see anything over there. We came from 368? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna flip around. I'll head back toward that way. Are you in that S4? Oh, S4? Oh, no, I'm in the uh, 14 charger. Okay. That means you didn't come from 368. You came from. Three six five maybe. Kilo one of the in the area of that last one PD, I'll be honest. That man's probably hiding in a bush somewhere. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna pull over, call the penitentiary, see if there's any reports of uh recently escaped convicts. Yeah. I'm gonna stay up high so if I see any movement. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit further. Charlie 161, I'll be in route to the latest for investigation. 143 in traffic. Hides. I don't see any of this. You already checked the residence at 367, right? I just looked around there. I didn't do any in depth checking. Okay. I'll knock on the door, see if anyone saw anything. Okay. Kilo one of the the cartoon goblin mean anything famous. Copy, don't touch anything else. It's fun it's fun investigation. Um just stand outside and wait for the ID to get down. Uh, Chat, I'm at 367. I got footprints. Medic 3. Medic 3, can you respond to 280 Panorama Drive for a possible EDP? A possible EDP? Wait. EDP? Yeah. Oh. EDP 445? Chat, I got a broken window. Signs of forced entry. Uh, emotion disturbed person. One out of one. Um, I got some foot. I got footprints going into the home. I also have some signs of forced entry here. 367. Copy, uh, unit medic, the room being right for evaluation. Right. Kilo 106, Adam. Link, can I share a sparman? I'm gonna go around back. Share a sparman. One out of one, go ahead. Hey, do you want a dog in the down there? Um, ten four. Copy. If we can have the CID come to zero four seven, expedite it. You got uh, CID and CIB is gonna be unavailable on another case right now. 
one out of one wow. units uh, at 367. I got a broken gun safe. We got somebody that might have a weapon inside. Copy. Break. A kilo User joined your channel. To the CAB, CAD unit. I'll have a uh, local officer watch it, please. 10 4. 7 Charlie 1 8 10 23 at 367. Chad, I just got a report back from the penitentiary. Apparently, they're missing one convict. So the guy in the orange jumpsuit's definitely from the prison. Okay, I'm looking through the windows. There are footprints inside, but I don't see anything. Kilo one of six, I'll be in route code three three six seven. I'm gonna try this door, see if it's unlocked. Right, if it see. is, we're gonna have to go in there. Yeah, you got signs of forced entry, so. No, just kick it in. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm coming out front. <clears throat> Uh, Delta 101 to that EMS. Go ahead and turn around. We're on the dirt road across the right. street from Yellowjack. We need a oh, fuck. Marker. Bam. I'm a probe. I deserve it. Thank you, copy. Alright, let's go. One out left. We're making entry into the Let's house. Clear. We got footprints. Right clear. I got footprints going into the back. With you, Chad. Blank on the sheriff's office. And you're here. If you're in here, make yourself no no. I'm kicking it. Stay on this door while you clear that. Let's oh, clear. Bedroom clear. All right, another door. You got more footprints. Yep. Right All clear. Right. House is clear. All right, we got a broken gun safe over here. Scene at two eight zero. Ah oh, shoot. See if there's any registration papers. If you can find out what guns were stolen. <laughs> I find any deputy you clear in there yet? You kill the one that's going to go out of my Found it. Ready to go? One second. Okay, so only thing we have in here is a uh, broken gun safe. We're trying to figure out which weapons that they took now. Oh, goddamn. I told you, I deserve it. I deserve it. Alright. Yeah, fuck her, it's dirt. Kilo one to switch to Adam one. One out of one, go ahead. If you still uh, uh, want me in that uh, location, I'm close to that uh, active 1010. Uh, I believe I already have a dog on site. Can you get any. Uh, 1071, we'll be in route to 1010. 10 4, sir. Alright. We got we got some footprints and stuff in the house, so I don't know if you want to pick up a track from that. What's that? Um, it's in here, through the back. The culprit came through here and broke into the gun safe, so I don't know if you can get us in from there and see if we can find out which direction this guy went. Oh, this charger looks really good. Okay. Okay, um... One out of one, the uh, person at this location. We got an escape convict. He's going to be armed with a pistol at this time. Stand by, we're going to be tracking this individual. Alright. Alright, Bruce Gump. Side room, clear. Kilo one, uh, kilo one, I think I'm the act Warning. I'm gonna have the warden send me the file right now for the prisoner. Find out what his name is. Okay. Right. The gun is registered to Bruce Gump. Gotcha. I'm assuming that's the homeowner here. Yeah. The homeowner. Phone. Uh, Dre, you're gonna have to use OC. Hello. Hello. Good day. I'm uh, Commissioner Dev with the Bank Commissioner's Office. 
I'm looking for Mr. Bruce Gump. This is he. All right, sir. Um, do you have a property up in uh, Sandy Shores? Yeah, that's my uh, little vacation house, but um, I'm away from it. Is everything okay? Uh, we have a break-in into your, yeah, your house. Channel. Is there any CCTV footage or anything that we can find in here? No signs yeah, there should be... A... Yeah, um, my neighbor has the keys to my home, so if you need it, uh, my neighbor can give you the, the keys to access my home, and the machinery is kept in the back room of my house. Okay, the neighbor across the street on the hill, or...? Uh, yeah, across the street from the, on the hill. Okay. So they're the ones who called us. They said that they, they saw somebody walking around the property. Once we got on site, um, there is, we, we saw signs of entry, made entry into your home, and we found multiple places oh my God. that were stolen, including your gun safe was broken into. Can you tell me what was in that safe? Oh my gosh. That's, I just got that gun. It's the new 6 hour 365 Okay. Is there any other thing inside of there? No, I just had um, an extended magazine and I just bought like five boxes of ammunition. Each of the boxes was like 50 to 100 uh, cartridges. Okay. Is there any CCTV footage that we could access in here? Yeah, the, the machine, uh, the main hub should be in the back room um, oh. where my bed is. Um, and the cameras are in the front. So it's like ring camera. Ring, ring doorbell camera. Okay. All right. So, um, we're going to try our best to do, to, to see if we can get this sorted out. But is aware are you that in case we need to call you in and see if we can do anything else, like get a statement, etc. Sure. That's not a problem. I, I'll have my phone on with me. So you, you're, you're not in town at all? No, no. I'm away on vacation. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, we're going to try to investigate this and find the person and uh, get your weapon back. But for now, I'm going to need access to that CCTV footage and any other information that you can give me regarding this home. Okay, not a problem. Is there anything else dangerous in the house that this person could have stolen? I mean, no, that was my only gun. I just bought it. Okay. All right, so... All right, we'll call you back if anything else transpires, but I'm gonna see if I can get that um, that key and the access to the CCTV footage from your neighbor. Sure, thank you so much, sir. All right, what's your neighbor's name? Her name is Sandy. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Sandy now. All right. So All right, thank you, sir. Keep in touch. All right, we'll do. All right, we got word from the homeowner he only had one of the new sig um 365 or whatever it is like some it's a new gun basically um he got uh, yeah p320 yeah he had like a standing mag and about five boxes of ammo in that safe which was which is all gone now so okay. well, i'm gonna go up and see if i can get cctv footage from the uh neighbor which he said he left his keys with and we'll go from there Alrighty. I'll be back, Dre. I'm gonna go and get that CCTV footage from the neighbor. Charlie one six one nine five seven. So I'm Charlie 5 to all units be advised. We just got a report for the proposed escaped convicts. It's going to be a Barros Drummond. It's going to be described as a white male with blonde hair. Last seen 367 at the house with an orange jumpsuit. Subject is armed and dangerous. I don't know if I heard that. I, I heard you in Discord, but I don't know if I heard you over the RTO. Oh. Shoot. Okay, hold on. I know I've heard double if I heard you. 
Uh, the deputy on scene says he heard me, so. Oh, okay. That's good. That's the latest he isn't bad. 7 try 161 to 5 back for 1. Alright, Barrow's drumming. Are you free for Let's run this guy. Mm, one's not CAD, log in. User left your channel. West Joshua Road 269. Barrel's oh, drumming to H25, 271 on Gonquin. This man does some good scene, bro. Yeah. He's got three arrests. One weapons license, got a vehicle registration for, for a sedan. It's gonna be a Chevy Camaro. Was any of... Um... What's the name? Barris Drummond? Yeah. I'm gonna flag his, um, his name. Do you still want this uh, canine unit here, or is he good to break? If he didn't pick up anything, he's good, I guess. Okay. Were any of these arrest felonies? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna mark him as a felon. Alright. Do we want to request a warrant from the judge? Warning. Armed well, violent. No, we are already looking for him, so I don't think that's necessary. Okay. I mean, he has he has an address. I'm not sure if he would be stupid enough to go home, though. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I thought I could mark it as a felon, but I guess not. I don't see anywhere where I could do that. Primary updated White man put on for what user left your channel. Doors, male brace, the front middle opposite goes inside after a minute or two. As the home appears to be an L shaped object, it's been lost afterwards. 523. User joined your channel. 523. That's wow, okay. What's 523? That's uh, it's gonna be close to. 68 Approach and Baytree Canyon Road, the barn by the Redwood Lights Racetrack. Okay, I'm going to go do a little bit there, yeah. Bionic. Wow. If he, doesn't, if he doesn't turn up here, I'm definitely going to his residence. I'm going to check out if there's anything up there. Jesus. Oh, I almost did the same thing. Crazy. One suspect on right here. Nice. Oof. We are closing. I'm definitely taking my gun out. I don't like this. That'd be a good One place to head over here. here. One eight nine, Catholic Trail. I'm gonna go around the front. Okay, I'm gonna go on the back. Lock this car up. Yeah. One additional suspect right across the bridge. One seven zero heading north. Delta 33, we got two 
Just swam across the creek, southbound 170. Let's see. I don't see anything around here. I don't either. I'm going to check the houses over here on the Continuing left side. eastbound 185. Uh, yeah. You think can't I'm... get into anywhere, I don't think. I don't think so either. No. Eastbound 185 Cassidy Trail up the road. I know I got nothing. All right, let's look around and ask some questions. See if I see anybody. Suspect appears to be a white male, white jacket, him. white hat. Still 184 eastbound up Cassidy Trail. Hmm. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bed after this one. Go drink some water or something. Need some Pedialyte. That's the thing, I've been drinking water all day. I have a Damn. gallon, I have a gallon bottle. I literally have like a sliver of water left. Hold up, was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a different, okay. I thought that's no, slash, I oh, will see it was. One I'll have a team, he's running south uh, up the hill, 177. Still running up the hill, 177, he's over the top, he's on the other side, southbound, 177. Look, footprints leading to main road. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got one on the house over by where you were originally. Doors kicked in and off the hinge right over there. Four signs of fourth century. Because I didn't check this, I thought the other side was the door. South of one seven seven. Yeah, I thought so too. Unit approaching. One on one, I see you. Open the from here, road. Could he have gone across the street? Oh no, maybe he went to that house. Have there. any unit with the truck? Bro. Yeah, here I'll go check over there. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I got my car here. So. Okay, all right, I'll stay here. You go across the street. Also heading southbound, right toward Sap City, in the Cliff area of 178 southbound. Copy. Kilo 1 at 6 I'll be enough. Like, uh... Be advised, be a whiskey, my white shirt, I believe, blue jeans. Alright. Let's see here. I don't mind, I just hopped that person's fence. Hmm. I don't see any clues around here. It'd be 179 behind the silo, heading southbound in the cliffs. Oh, we got a bird in the air. Yeah, there's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Suspect's turning around northbound yeah. now. The one who's got eye. Another dead end. I'm gonna go up. Turning around, we're running south. I'm gonna go up here. See if we're gonna go okay. here. They're funny. Best postal, please. 179, we east westbound. Hold up. Logan well, says black truck was stolen. Mail and orange driving it towards Chappelle Drive 518. That's our next location. I was just going up here. That's the thing. That's the crazy part. Alright, so it's a black truck.
Uh, one out of one. Can I have medical out to 518 Bay Tree Canyon Road? We got a body up here. Okay, medic 3 will be in route. Can you move uh, down to postal one more time? Give me 518 Bay Tree Canyon Road. Copy. Mm -hmm. Delta Road. I thought he was going this Grand Chapel Road, they, but he was going up Chapel Drive. Stay here and see what the body is. I'm gonna go around to Chapel Drive and see the difference there. Okay. Um, maybe that. Oh, that was an AI. That AI is probably knocked out, but you know. One out of one. You can uh, disregard the medical. Suffolk vehicle is going to be postal 188 Grand Canyon. Copy, medic back. Okay, so I just got to read back. There was rummaging inside the house at 523, but there was nothing missing. So he was probably looking for more weapons, clothes, or I don't know. Probably clothes. I would think that he's probably looking for clothes. But, but if he was looking for clothes, why didn't he take it from the first house? It probably didn't have real anything to fit in. Yeah. Uh, Five, two, three could have been. Or he was looking for money. I know that there's going to be a. We're going to be a total 188 Grand sure. Canyon. Uh, we're currently doing a search real quick. Simple as you can. Here, all those weapons or whatever I'm you want in there. Okay. Stand for. Stand for. Stand for. Stand for. Stand for. It said to where it's 518, but... Kilo 1 is going to be Charlie 143, All right, I haven't found anything on this road. Yeah, I went up Galileo. I didn't see anything either. Hopefully we get a description of that truck more, instead of Bolo. Yeah. What kind of truck it is, is what I want to know. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Some kind of plate. My brain's hurting me right now. <laughs> he could be anywhere right now. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. All right, let me look up this guy's residence. I'm going to do a lap over there. Yeah. 271. It's at 518, so it might, it, might, it might be worth checking it out. Alright, I'm gonna do a lap around 271 and I'll be over there. Alright. Plate unknown last year on 28, yeah. 
Ah, oh, stolen car. I already find it goes up here. Is there anything by the house? No. It's a black pickup truck, 2008, 4x4 Bravado plate, unknown, last seen around the area of 1500. One out of one. Uh, All you know, somebody putting out a bullet, uh, a soft bullet, and it's gonna be a black pickup truck. Um, it's a 2008 four x four Bravado. I have no play at this time. Last seen in the area of 518 uh, Bay Tree Canyon. It was just stolen from a home. And this house is gonna be driven by an escape convict, Barrows Drummond. If any unit sees this vehicle, please contact one out of one or seven thirty five. Kilo one six break. I just had a vehicle fly by me at 200 plus miles an hour at Joshua Road West Run. If any unit can get the plate off the line. Nothing at 271. Uh, camera response to Joshua X 202. Did you get a plate? Negative, you screwed by If you get a plate, don't chase it. Just get the plate and put the warrant out for the person's arrest. I'm tired of that shit. Alright. Or you can go to a judge and get a warrant put out. Five one nine. Okay. You're right there, right? I'm nearby. Try five ninety seven. One out of one. I'm uh basically here. Just saw a man get jacked. Kilo one oh six. Did you get that description of the vehicle you're looking for? Time for the plate is gonna be hotel um zero two seven. I'm on scene, but I don't see anything here. Check off an off road car, last number of the plate. Well that's the guy that we just that we just saw, right? So I think so. But why would it just come through now? I don't know, maybe it's lagging for him. I don't know. Can you let me fix your car real quick? Your lights are jacked on my screen. I mean really? Yeah, it's mad jacked up right now. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, uh, off-road car. All right, I'm gonna go down 382. All right. He's making me want to go and get a truck now. Yeah, I might go grab an Explorer. Mm. Might grab one of the new, new trucks that y'all got, or Tahoe maybe. Yeah, Tahoe would be cool. I'm not finding, not seeing anything right now. So it took off in a off-road car. Okay. Hmm. I got him right here, 241 at the motel. 241? Okay. Yeah. Route 68 intersection. I just pulled it right up on him. I don't know how. Uh, what's going on? Put your hands up. Do it now. Don't you run, dude. Come out from the front of the vehicle. Get away from me. Put your hands up. User disconnected from your channel. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. 
You don't want. He's taking cover. He pulls out a gun. He's dead. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. I'm gonna light him up. Ah shoot, my thing is no is no glitched out. For fuck's sake. I'm not going back. Dude, don't do it. We can work this out, but do not, not do anything going you're back. going to regret later. I'm not going back. I can't I get my gun out. Man, we I can't work get things my gun out. Oh, why can't I get my gun out? You the system is corrupt. They sent me to jail for no reason. I understand we can get things figured out, but you cannot pull out a weapon right now, dude. I'm not pulling anything out, but I'm not going back. Okay, Just let we me can... get into the car and I'll leave. We can't do. You've done anyone. certain things. You you say that, but you've done certain things that we can't allow. Okay, you need to work with us right now. You need to come out from that vehicle. And you need to surrender peacefully. I don't want to end this hard, but you need to work with us. One out of one. Can I get a can? Oh, I, 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 I don't believe one. you guys. I, I trusted you guys from. last time, and you told me nothing would happen, and I got sent to jail for so many years for something I did not even do. I'm not going that back. That wasn't me, man. I understand that you probably had a bad interaction, but that wasn't me. I'm a different officer, and I want to work with you. We have an updated justice system, and I'm willing to work with the court if you cooperate with us. What are you going to do for me? What are you going to tell Charlie the DA for me? Can be en route and if you surrender now and you come out peacefully, I will work with the Time for I need you as soon as possible. I got a, I got a for person with a gun. We got him at gunpoint. Clear. But I can't do that if you make this harder on yourself. We all make mistakes. It's how we live with them. One out of one. Can you turn on that postal? Let me two four one at the uh, motel. I'll lower my weapon, but I cannot put it away. It's for my safety. I need a seventy-one extra thirty-two down to two three five. I need you to come out from that vehicle, dude. He's I got it in his hand. Hands up. He's got it in his hand. He's got a gun. Yeah, something's in his hand right now. Heard. I can't see what it is. Got it. You need to work with us, man. Stand by. Ten four. Come on, dude. I'm gonna move around so I can see. Okay. Yeah, he's barricading. Hey, stop, man! Don't. He's got a knife. He's got. He a might knife. be going around the rear. Try one four three and wrap from the station. Let me see if there's a rear exit. Nah, it's just the window. No. Okay, got it. Just the window. Heard. Come on, dude. <laughs> we all make mistakes in life. I don't see him. I'm willing to work with you. He's at the front window. I can see him now. Listen, men. We can work this out, but you have to work with me here. Oh, shit. He's gonna peep outside, so. Yep. Car just a little bit. Do you want to get beanbag cover? Uh, I don't got none right now. No, okay. Sir, you're gonna have to step a little bit more. We can't hear you, Mr. Baron. Listen, man, everything I said was true. I'm not lying to you here. Can't you hear you, sir. Knife, brother. Can't hear you, sir. Here, I'll lower my weapon. There you go. Can you hear me now? I can't hear him. I can't either. You gotta come fully outside, dude. You gotta raise your your voice. Your throat has to go higher, sir. Yeah, we understand. You can just talk from out here. I can barely hear him. Can you raise your volume, or uh, see your F11 muscle? 
Make sure it's on Sheldon or screaming. Charlie one four three to one Adam one. Have you seen me drive by? I'm unable to locate you guys. We are two four one at the motel. You should be able to see our lights and sirens. Our our lights, sorry. Two four one Route sixty eight at the motel. The GPS might take you a different location. It's in Harmony. I'm not going back. I haven't seen my wife in so many months. They don't allow us conjugal visits. I understand that, sir, but we can't have you walk away from this. We need to. We need you to work with us, okay? Surrender peacefully, and we can work with the court to get you to get your situation figured out. We're not going to come any closer. We're right here. You're right there. There's a good amount of space where we can talk effectively, but we're not going to put you in any harm, and we're not putting ourselves in any harm. So I just need you to work with us. Drop the knife. I need to speak with the warden, and he's going to tell me he's not going to add any more time to my sentence. We can get in contact with the warden, but he can't come down here as he is not law enforcement. He works for the prison. We can transfer the information over to him and we can get him on the line, but you cannot threaten yourself or us in any way. Do you understand? I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll and unfortunately, him. sir, you're making it, you're making it a little bit worse for yourself. I understand your situation. Um, I'm not going to say I'm understand how or why you might feel the way that you do. But at the same time, we also have our job to do. And this is the reality of the life as it is. You have to make sure that you do things the right way. This is not the right way. This is not the way that you do it. I understand that you have to force the system, whatever. But at the same time, there are other ways to lawfully do it. And this is not the right way. You've heard a few people so far. And, and we can't go this any further, sir. So what I think for, for us to be able to help you, you have to help yourself. And that's with learning that weapon and giving yourself up. Do you guys have families? Do you know how much of a pain it is to not see your family and be deprived of touching your family because of a corrupt system? Do you guys I understand, understand that, that, sir. 100%. I have a family back home. I did 12 years in the Navy. User joined your channel. I understand what you're going through. I understand that it hurts not User seeing your family. Your but channel. man, I'm telling you right now what my partner here said. You are not going about this the right way, and it is not going to help your situation any further. So what I need you to do right now is put that knife down and Charlie surrender peacefully. I am here to work with you. I am here as your friend, as a law enforcement officer. I need to get you figured out right now. But you holding that knife in a threatening manner and you looking around, no, you just need to calm down for us, okay? Put that knife down and we'll get everything figured out. I am promising you right now. I haven't don't seen do, don't, my do not, I understand that. You, so you cutting yourself and injuring months. yourself, you're not going to see her if you hurt yourself it right now. It doesn't matter at this point. I sir, I have a question. Does, because I will work with her. you. I have a question, sir. Do you think that your wife wants to see you go? I don't think she does, but there's no other way I'm going to be able to see her. There's go back. honestly, there's there's always a different way. And us as men, we have to be able to provide for the women that we care about. We have to be able to do stuff for them to make sure that they are completely OK. And you doing this is putting her at risk. If you have a, 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 do you have children? I do, and I haven't seen them in months. Okay, I understand that, sir. But at the same time, you have to provide, and you have to show an example for them. What are your guy? What are your kids gonna think of you if you sit down here, you give up, and you end it now? That that, that that's not a good place to be. Now, I'll 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 share a little bit about myself, right? I've been in the army. I came back here. And I did not see my wife and my children. I have five. I haven't seen them in 10 years. When I came back, my children, my, my kids, or some of them were up to 10 years older. And they're teenagers. They did not even recognize me. You know how painful that is? And I understand where you can, might come from in a, in a case where you are away, not necessarily by... It's one by your choice, but you're being forced not to see people or see by your family. But how are they going to think of you when you decide to give up? What are your children going to think of you? Think of their dad who gave up on them, who left them here to live this hard life by themselves, who did not take accountability for his actions and, and, and decided to take the easy way out. This is not how you do it to...
do and become a good role model for your children. And I can see that you love your children, your wife, and everybody so much that it drove you to escape and it drove you to do the things that we are today. Sometimes as men, we have to go out here and we have to do the shit that we do not want to do to make sure that they that they are good, that they're provided for. But at the same time, we have to do it the right way. We have to set the right example. We do not want to raise a generation of degenerate children who are going to be being to society and commit stuff to hurt other people. We don't want to show that. We want to show how strong we are, how resilient we are, how determined we are for the best. Do you understand what I'm saying, what I'm saying so far? Yeah. That is exactly why I came back. And I and I and I made sure that it was a part of my child's life. Now you may still have some way to be part of your children's life, but it's not you're gonna close that door completely if you decide to use that knife and you do something that you are going to regret. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And here's the reality of the matter. Here's the reality of the matter. You're not helping yourself. You're not helping your children. You're not helping anybody by doing this. Now, what I think you should do, and here's here's what I think the best choice of action you have. You give that. You give yourself up. We'll say to the DA. We'll talk to the DA. We'll make sure that we can see if we can, you know, mention how cooperative you were, how how you decided to 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 talk to us. And let us know what's going on. How you did not threaten officers. We'll make sure that we mention all of that. To make sure that things go as smoothly as possible. But I need you to make proper decisions now. You've already made some couple bad decisions sir. And I need you to make turn around and make a good decision now. And the good decision is. Is giving up. Drop the knife. Throw it away from you. Put your hands above your head. And let's get this done peacefully sir. All right. What well, I'll, I'll compromise. I'll give you. I'll drop the gun. I'm gonna go for it. It's in my waistband. And I'm gonna throw it on the floor. Do it slowly. I dropped the gun. Okay. Go ahead and kick it away from you. Kick it towards us. You got to drop the knife as well, sir. Listen, man, I got bodies. I gave bodies. you the gun. I okay. gave you the gun. Now for the knife. We just don't want you to hurt yourself, man. I got buddies that took their lives because of what they saw, what they went through. I don't want you to be the next. Let's end this peacefully. Let's get you home with your family. Do any of you have a phone? I just want to call my wife just to hear her voice one more time. Once you give yourself yeah. up, we'll give you the phone to call, sir. No. We will, I we want will to give talk you... to her now Chad, before I'm I give go. Phone. I don't want to call anybody other than his wife. All right, man, I'm going to slide my phone over to you. I want you to call your wife and only your wife. And you talk to her and let her know that you're going to give up yourself, sir. There you go. It's over there in the dirt. User disconnected from your channel. Jeez. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> yeah. Bro, this is so stressful right now. Damn. I'm more concerned about what he's going to do versus what we're going to have to do. I don't want to yeah. shoot him. I really don't. I really don't. Don't be me to this dude. I, I, that, I remember I remember seeing that on that um that video where the children were shooting at the police. The, the 12 mm -hmm. or 14 year old. And they could hear the cops saying, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. This was going through my head right now. Mm -hmm. Or the other one where the uh, the ex veteran, the officer, was talking to the dude that was trying to get killed by the police. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, it's me. 
Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's uh it's it's a buddy's uh, phone. So I just wanted to see your face real quick. I know, I know. Where are the kids? Put them on. I want to see their face on FaceTime before I go. Are you talking? No, crazy? no. The judge, uh, the, the the warden, uh, let me step out for a little bit. Uh, but I I should be, you know. I, I just wanted to call you and tell I'm you going that I Leslie, you I'm not guys shooting this guy. I haven't seen you and right, touched you, you guys back. in so long that I missed you guys terribly. I got a taser. Right. I don't know if I got my beanbag. No, uh, don't don't worry about the lights, babe. It's, it's just uh, we're on an outing. The warden took us on an outing, so we're going to go back to the jail soon. But, User you know, they just wanted to take us channel. out for good behavior. But I just wanted to see your face one more time and just tell you and the kids that I love you guys. I don't like the way he's talking. Yeah, me either. Hey, sport. It's dad. I miss you, bud. Just know that dad always loves you, all right? No matter what happens, just know that dad is always with you. Bruh, my thing is still glitched out. Why? No, I can bud. get a few well, on I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. I got it. So, okay, buddy? Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. I'm going back, Lethal. Yeah, no. Don't, don't cry, bud. Don't cry, sport. You'll see dad soon. All right? Now, since dad is gone, I want you to keep being the man of the house, all right? Promise me that, all right? You're going to look after mom, all right? Promise me, sport. All right, dad loves you, all right? One out of one seed puts on that phone. I think no, he's honey, probably going to try to take himself nothing, out. Everything is fine. Uh, we're going to rush him. I'm going to hit him with the bane bag. We're going to rush him. Yeah, we're just on a field trip right now, all right? So, I'll see, I'll, hopefully I'll thing. see you later, but... You know, if anything happens to me while I'm in jail, just know that I love you, all right? Keep the letter that I sent you. Okay? No, don't. Just just always remember that the, the letter that I sent you last week. All right, hun? I love you. If anything, like I said, if anything happens to me while I'm in jail, just know that I'm always going to look over you. All right, love you too, babe. All right, we did something for you. I need you to do something for us now. Come on, Drop the knife. There you go. All right, I'll pick that up after. What I need you to do is put the knife down and get on your knees with your hands above your head. Make the right choice. Just promise me you're gonna help help me with the warden. We'll do everything we can. All right, I think he just dropped it. Yep. I think he just dropped it. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind All your right. head and lace your fingers on your knees. Well done. You're doing good. You're doing a good job right now. Good work. There you go. After this, okay, we're gonna, don't move. We're gonna do an investigation into the Boiler Dog Penitentiary. All right, moving up. Yeah. With you. All right, good job. <laughs> All right, stand up, sir. Charlie five, one ten fifteen. Code four two four one. Stand up, sir. <laughs> Yo, that actually affected me like real life. Yeah, I haven't seen my family in like six months. Another crazy part is at a class, we talked about self deletion in our class today. That's crazy. That's what I was. I was in a pretty bad mood most of my day because of that class. All right, sir, can you stand up, please? Uh, do it again. Slash a two K. Or X. Charlie one hundred. What type of truck are we missing? All right. You got anything else on you? Put me sick, me or hurt me, sir. Just the wallet. Charlie one hundred. What type of truck is missing? Be advised. I believe I have it. I'm tracking it right now. Yep. Be advised. I did. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh god. 
Not actually. God damn. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Charlie 55 to those deputies in yeah. the uh, SO. Can you uh, go ahead and check CCTV? We have that kind of burden, bro. A lot of people will will never understand. Shit. One out of one. You can can I have a ten fifty one over at two four one route sixty eight for a uh, off road vehicle? Jeez. I'll bring it back. All right. Alright, type to write up this guy's arrest report. Okay. Warning. Armed. Violent. Yeah, let's make another arrest. No, arrest. Charlie 143108. Um. First degree murder and um, we just leave. First way, this is. I just take a second. I take all the time you need. Work into a few houses. I'm gonna charge him with escape from maximum security facility, first degree murder. Um, and then uh, robbery, burglary, burglary times two. Okay, broke into. Don't forget about the um, <clears throat> the guy that he uh stabbed when he saw the truck. First degree murder, yeah, that's why I put okay. for that. So the escape, the first degree murder, blur, burglary times two, and then um, what's the other one? Um, Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna, we're not gonna put arrest, resisting arrest on there. Pistol broke into. Two houses. A gun, knife, and a wallet with ID for the person he stabbed. Active suspect is. Will need to be seen by a counselor and an investigation into the prison will be held. Alright, the date is going to be the state. So that is 60 plus 300, 360 plus 120 is uh, 480. 480. Yeah. Plus 60 is uh, 520. 520. No, 540. Oh, yeah, 540. All right. One out of one. Show me 10 5 to go in. Balding Brook Penitentiary. Charlie right. Patterson traffic. Good choice, sir. I made the right choice here today. Please just help me with the ward, and I just want to see my family. Well, if that's the case, we can be launching an investigation oh, local. to the ward Goddamn. because you are entitled to seeing to visits unless you're a serious criminal. Which I looked over your your charges, and it doesn't seem like you are. So unless you're a serial killer, um, there should be a law and visit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, luckily for you, you butt up with the commissioner of the state, so I can actually do something around here. 
Thank you, sir. Right. Let's see here. Jeez. Now imagine if we had done um if I had actually see you see how that affected you? Imagine if I had allowed um more in depth serious RP on these kind of topics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. this is the exact reason why I I um and uh, limit the the kind of scenes. It's it's a very 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 good scene, but I mean it can affect people like you know personally on a personal level. So, yeah. He's he's definitely getting commended after this one. That was wow. Yeah. I'm actually once once I'm gonna write it out once this is finished. <laughs> it was about twenty minutes of trying to talk him down. Yeah. And that's why I wish more civs did that kind of stuff. Because that's a lot better than having to shoot someone. Every single time. Yeah. I know that I can be, uh, me personally, I can be like very, you know, serious with the um, thing. But mm -hmm. with like the shootings and stuff. But that's mostly for entertainment. Yeah. When I'm by myself, it's like, it's a completely different thing. All right, let's go, sir. Captain Hines blank in the sheriff's office. Uh, no, I'm booking a suspect right now. I'm gonna fill out paperwork. What's up? All right. Come on, in this way. Let's go this way. All right. Alright, pause right here. 55. Oh. Chill. guys um thank you guys for i know this is a very sensitive topic and this was a very sensitive rp but i wanted to show you guys what kind of rp that we can have in dvrp and this is like a very sad kind of you know but it's a realistic take on a lot of things that happen irl some people they commit crimes and 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 they don't get to see their families they don't get to see have these meaningful connections anymore and that's truly truly sad but um hopefully you guys enjoyed that i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week i think i'm gonna let you guys see the entire thing um it's gonna be a slightly edited not not too crazy edited but um i want you guys to see everything this story and everything shout out to landon for doing such an amazing rp i really enjoyed that and that was a great thing i didn't have to shoot anybody even though i i often joke about wanting to to you know do it in gta of course but um we didn't have to fire our weapons and that's what law enforcement is all about being being that kind of a, a role model and leader within the uh if in the community you know what i'm saying this is what i think a law enforcement officer should be and should do but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great remember after all you guys go to you guys got this and uh yeah peace everybody